when I got the script, I was moved for the fact that it happens to be a story I've not done something like that before. So I felt ah, this is a new challenge. Let me take it up. I'm the director on the set, The Devil's Advocate. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. You know you shouldn't be sent driving this car. Really? Why? The last time the last one came, she asked questions about it. It's an exhibit. What kind of question? No, just exhibit. Hi, my name is Wachuku Emioma. I'm a filmmaker, an actor, a writer. I'm on the set of The Devil's Advocate and I'm playing Sean. Sean is a very complicated guy. He's actually the younger brother to the lead character. And um, they had an incident of, you know, hit and run, which, you know, is the major story in the movie. It wasn't really an intentional act. It just happened. But then again, you know, for every mistake, there's, there's, um, what's the word? There's a price for it. So the price to pay for the hit and run act. I mean, a lot of people, these things happen. Hit and run, you know, drivers, they don't even know the penalty for that act, you know. So in this movie, we are trying to tell people about certain kind of, you know, menace that people think it's something you can just do and get away with, you know. So that's basically it. Sean is the younger brother to the lead character, a complicated guy who almost, you know, tried to cover their track, but then he keeps, you know, bringing up problems upon problems, you know. I mean, who, you're a hit and run guy. How do you visit the deceased family all in the name of trying to cover your track? He's that complicated. Hi, my name is Shirley Igwe and I'm on the set of Devil's Advocate and I played the role of 
Bella. Okay, Bella. Hmm. Soft, nice, maybe somewhat naive, you know, because her best friend played her and her fiance also played her. So I can call her a little bit naive. And um, so she lost her boyfriend, her fiance, and um, in a bit to look for the killers, the killers actually came to her and she did not know she fell into their hands and she ended up you know having something getting into a relationship with one of them and you know what just watch out for devil's advocate My name is Melvin Odua, and yes, I'm on the set of The Devil's Advocate. Um, very amazing movie, very interesting story. I'm playing the role of Walter. Now, who is Walter? Walter is um, a very interesting character. Him and his younger brother, Sean, they run into trouble. You know, it's not like they, um, they saw the trouble coming. More like a hit and run incident, where hit and run happens, and um, the person you hit dies, you know? So they were caught up in that whole um, dilemma. Um, to them, nobody saw what happened and they thought they were free and they were going to, you know, just live their lives as if nothing happened. But nah, that was not the case. You know, I'm not the type that likes to give out so much information about the movie, but um, different things happen, different um, angles to it. Uh, so you're going to see different um, happenings in this one. Yes, but I can assure you that it's a very interesting one. Very interesting. From the beginning to the end, there's no dull moments on this movie set. Tamara is here. It's not an expected receipt. We've done our best, but it's obvious that we're drunk. I think you need to stop cracking like an egg. There's never a problem without solution. I'm completely out of sorts. everything into this pursuit. My time, money, sweat, blood, everything now this. I don't think I'll ever recover from this. Everyone has a price tag. All you need to do is just look closely to see that. And as for Linda, I think you need to strike a deal with her. 40% is a lot. 40% from the total budget or just the proceeds? Working with the cast and crew, this is day three, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's been, it's been good. I've worked with Michael before, the director, and this is a thing for the second time. And it's, it's been good. It's been good. The story, the story is coming out well. We are doing our best to drive it home. Yes, and the producer. This is my first time working with the producer. It's been awesome on set. Everyone, it's been good. Melvin, great. Yeah, everyone, it's been awesome. Grieving, I found my new self. Grieving and action. Other forever. 
We promised to grow old together. He even promised me a car on my next birthday, but all of that dream is not short. Life happens sometimes. But as for the dream, I, I think it's not too late for you to achieve them. For me, I'm all for your happiness. I'm here for you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. You've, you're far too kind. You've done what I mean. What's, what's new? I mean, the investigation and your did. Oh well, I know how exhausting it is for the police. That's what my mother keeps saying. You are your own lead right now. Yes. I've been out there myself trying to gather information, but it's just no useful information. Aren't you considering dropping the case and moving on with your life? Even if it takes me. Thank you. I like that. Trust no one and be careful who your friends are and be very vigilant uh, with your circle or people you let into your life. They are very committed to their, you know, to their work. They handle their departments very professionally. I must give kudos to them because a lot of times, you know, you see a good movie and everyone is giving credit to the actors. You know, shout out to my crew members. I, I know you, root, you guys root for me. I root for you guys and I'm, I'm super proud to have you as my team. For the actors, I've worked with Linda Osifo before and she's one actor you don't want to miss as a cast on your, you know, on your movie set. She's very committed dedicated to her craft. She's a seasoned actor, I must say that. And then she, she's just someone I would, you know, continually want to work with. You know, she's on the set. Then I have Melvin, Melvin Odua. I've seen a couple of his movies. He's, um, he's a good actor, but the scare for me before now was, I mean, what if he's one of those Nollywood divas who come on set to give problems to producers? But he's one, he's like a brother, you know, we met on this set and everything has been going smoothly. I appreciate working with him and I hope that we get to work again after now. For Shelly Igwe, Shelly is someone I've also seen her movies. She's a great actor, you know, a very good one at that. And I appreciate her so much because she's very trouble free. There's nothing like working with actors who don't come on set to give you troubles, you know. That's why I must say this. You see a lot of producers recycling actors. The reason is because of the synergy they've been able to build. And then if those actors are trouble free, you'd want to hire them over and over and over again. So, and then I have um, Ayu Adesan here on this set. Mama is, is, She's a mother, you know, she's a mother. She, she came on set and she played by the rules of this particular production. You know, when you say sit, she's sitting. When you say stand, she stands, you know. And then, let's not talk about her craft. We all know Ayo Adesanya, you know. She's born to, to, to be an actor, you know. And she's doing exceptionally well, you know. And who else? I have, there's this other lady, um, she's playing Jacinta. She's also a very good actor, you know. Amongst others, I appreciate working with them, and I hope after now we'll get to work again. Speaking of the production team, um, the only person I've actually worked with before 
is um, the director, Director Michael. I, I love Director Michael, you know, we're always, um, the bond and the chemistry of sex is always amazing. So um, coming to this production team, working with a lot of people for the first time, you know, you're like, okay, how is this energy going to be? But I promise you, it's been amazing. From day one, from the first time I set my foot into this production house, everything has been nice. The DOPs, everybody, the full production team have been amazing. So it's that kind of production where you're working and you're playing, you're happy, positive vibes all through, yeah. So it's been amazing so far. Um, my co-actors, I mean, I've worked with Shelly so many times. I've worked with um, Ayu Adesanya, of course, so many times as well. And um, the person playing Sean is the producer. Ah, the producer. An amazing guy also, you know, it's the first time we're meeting, first time we're working together. But if you see us communicating and conversing, you think uh, we've known each other for a very long time. Yeah, so that's the kind of vibe that is happening on this set. And um, it's really amazing so far. Um, yes, The Devil's Advocate is a wonderful movie. Trust me, everybody is bringing their A game. From the production team, the crew, the cast, everybody is giving it their best. And I assure you that when this movie comes out, you see that it's top notch. I've always worked with this cast, so it's always the same experience. They are a wonderful cast. It's not as if I'm just working with them for the first time. They are down to earth cast. They make things easy for you on sets. They're not the type that wants to make job very difficult for the director. When you tell them what you want, they try to give you their best. So it's a pleasure working with them. And as for the crew, it's also not my first time working with them. Though a, a quite number of them, this is my first time, like the sound man, the PM, a quite number of them, this is the first time, but it was a joy working with them. It is a joy working with them. Rafael Osazen Yering, I'm the associate producer for Devil's Advocates. So what really got me interested in the story, myself and Juan Chico were been friends and we talked about working together on a movie set. So he wrote some scripts and we went to them together and this was the one I loved first, although I loved others and we we're also going to work on others too. So I was like, okay, let's do this. And we loved the story and we started working on it. Working with the cast and crew has been nice and everybody has been professional. From what I've been seeing, everybody has been doing their work well and it's really really nice, a nice experience for me. I anticipate the movie, watch it, it's going to be a nice, a nice story produced by Wan Chiku and it's a really, really nice story and I wanted to see it when it's out. Movie grief is tricky for life, I know. But for now, 
Let me mourn my loss until I can't grieve no more. This is my fiance we're talking about here. Are you sure this is what she would have wanted for you? Mm. Oh dear, we are more than, more than just lovers. He promised me forever. We promised each other forever. We promised to grow old together. He even promised me a car on my next birthday, but all of that dream is not short. Life happens sometimes. But as for the dream, I, I think it's not too late for you to achieve them. For me, I'm all for your happiness. I'm here for you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. You've, you're far too kind. You've done what I need. What's, what's new? I mean, the investigation and your did. Well, I know how it was made to it's waiting for the police. Yeah, and uh, I mean, the investigation has followed your process. That's what my mother keeps saying. You are your only lead right now. Time to clear my tummy fish. The Lord the Lord says that. But now, I'm back for good. You should bury your, your face in shame. You are so shameless. So, this is why you came. She You're is. not somebody gold digger. You have not seen shameless. Why am I even talking to you? Once again, where's water? Because I am back. You mean back from rehab? Ah, please, bite your talk. Hmm. Let me ask you. What exactly do you want with us? Us? There's no us. 40% on the deal. Or we go must leave. That's for water. You wanna fight dirty? You truly wanna fight dirty? Bring it on, girl. <laughs> Bring it on! I don't fight and I'm not here to fight. You're not up to the level that I need for me to negotiate with you. Why am I even arguing with you? You're too juvenile for this kind of negotiation. It's not up to the level I need. I'm here for water. Let him know that I'm back. Hmm. My name is Shelly Igwe. Watch out for David's Advocate. My name again is Mwachuku Emioma, a filmmaker and actor. I'm on the set of The Devil's Advocate. We've put in everything to make magic. And I hope that when it comes out, it won't be short of expectations, you know. You all need to, you need to watch out for this movie. Trust me, the director is, is putting in his A game. Everyone has come with their A game. And I promise you all, it's, it's a movie you, you have to see. It's, it has a lot of, you know, lessons. You have a lot of lessons to learn from it. And um, yeah, just anticipate. The Devil's Advocate. My name is Olojai Michael Abiodun Do. I'm the director on the set, The Devil's Advocate. Please stay tuned. Anticipate, it's a nice story. <laughs>